out that I'm a mom, they call me that, and it's really funny because that's what I like to call them too. Uh, men I'd like to forget. <laughs> Um, so I'm really envious of comedians, I'm sure you've seen them, you know, the ones that come up on stage and they say something that makes you immediately relate to them, you know, like a guy will be like, hey guys, I look like what would happen if you put a pug on a human body. Or hey guys, I look like what would happen if Steve Buscemi fucked a bat. Because <laughs> like, what can I say to you that's going to make you directly connect with me? Hey guys, I look like everybody else at Yorkdale Mall. <laughs> Right? Okay, so I used to work in television for CCTV, and um, I think that's made me very vain, in case it's not obvious, by the five pounds of makeup I have on my face. Um, they say that once you become a parent, right, like your iPhone becomes filled with photos of your children. Me? Still just photos of myself. Like, I've accumulated 90,000 selfies on my phone. That's sick, right? Like, that's a problem. You know? And, and, and like, I'm trying to download these photos to my MacBook Pro the other day, and the thing that baffled me the most looking at all these photos is all the various ways I used to draw on my eyebrows over the years. Like, you can take these pictures and, like, turn it into a cartoon flip book, and you would just be like, no, no, no. From McDonald arches to Angry Birds to Salvador Dali's mustache. <laughs> All right, and you know you've been drawn on some whack ass eyebrows when even Apple iPhoto is like, Do you know this person? <laughs> That's whack, right? Um, so it is Asian Heritage Month, the end of it, but give it up for that. Uh, but I don't think I need to do that. No, because I do that every day, all right? I am a proud Asian. I go out of my way to counteract the stereotypes against my people, Chinese people. Chinese people, all right, we have a bit of a reputation for what? For being bad tippers, right? Right, so what do I do? I consistently tip like 25, 30%. All, like, all the time, just to help raise that average, okay? Did that at Milestones the other day, um, and the waiter looked at me, he was like, ma'am, ma 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 is everything okay? And I was like, of course, hence this tip that I'm leaving you. And he was like, but this is only 5%. I was like, yeah, well, not all Chinese people are good at maths. Breaking down stereotypes. All right, another one that I hate. I hate it. Oh, Chinese people are bad drivers. Let's tackle this one, shall we? No, we are not. Chinese people, guess what? Chinese people are just from China. All right? Where there is no, like, real value for human life. So the next time you see a Chinese woman driving and it seems like she's trying to kill you, yeah, she is. And she's doing it for the greater good. Sing it with me now. I'll have you chanting a little song and dance number by the end of this set. <laughs> okay, so the only stereotype that I think I am guilty of perpetuating uh, as a Chinese woman is the fact that I married a white guy. <laughs> Me and Jen, right? Really taking one for the team. <laughs> Sell out. No, and, and it's like no offense to you beautiful Asian men, Chinese guys, okay? It's not that like I love Chinese guys, but I just think that traditionally, I think we can agree Chinese guys are a little more complicated, right, than white guys. You know, like a Chinese guy, like, ah, he cares so much about, like, respect and what we call mianzi, which means face, right? A white guy just wants you to sit on his face. <laughs> uh, so being married to a white guy is fun. Uh, well, someone's getting free facials. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> moments, let me tell you. Every time my husband and I are in an elevator with another white guy and his Asian girlfriend, ugh, like, always that two to three seconds of awkward acknowledgement. You know, it, it's like showing up to a party wearing the same outfit as someone else. Because like, like he's white, you're white, she's Asian, you're Asian. But who wore it better? <laughs> defense, in my poor husband's defense, he's not one of those white guys that only goes after Asian women. You know those guys, right? Because that's shady as hell, okay? Because have you seen Asian women? 
We never seem to age. Most of us are 12. I have the body of a prepubescent boy with reasonably sized titty implants. <laughs> so I'm sorry, if you're a white guy that only targets Asian women, buddy, you're just a pedophile looking for a loophole. <laughs> Get the hell away from me, or a pedophile looking for a tighter loophole. <laughs> That's a comedy shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Um, are there any uh, any parents in the house? Make some noise. Wow. Okay. Only the table that sounds depressed and tired in the back. Well, I'm a parent. Okay, I have three kids. Uh, my youngest just turned one years old. Yeah. So give it up for uh, unplanned pregnancies, <laughs> also known as pulling out. <laughs> The Russian roulette of birth control, am I right? You know, each time my husband's chamber has been loaded, uh, gave life to my kids, but I swear to God, it killed me each time. And let's think about that term anyway, pulling out. Pulling out. Like, what am I, a driveway? You know, the other night, my husband's like, oh, 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 and this stupid cum face. Oh, oh, I'm like, I know that face. I know you're a cum face. Still seeing chunks of banana peel. All right, that's my time, everyone. Thank you very much for watching.